Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be discussing the camo and the apparel I've been wearing uh, since July. So pretty much all fall and the last part of the summer. Camo is an extremely controversial topic and like sensitive topic for whatever reason in the hunting industry. Like guys get super protective or defensive over what they wear and why it's the best. And I think it's so dang funny because it's like, I'm going to talk to you about what I'm wearing, but I could really care less about what you wear, why you wear it. So I hope you guys aren't sensitive. Uh, that's kind of weird if you are, uh, there's no reason to be. So a few things I don't want to hear is, that looks stupid. Grandpa's flannel did just fine for him back in 1980 and he got it done. Guys in their camo and trying to look cute. Uh, sorry, but all those are just stupid, insecure arguments. I want you guys to realize function, performance, durability, uh, all of that stuff makes a huge difference on the mountain. Now, maybe if you're hunting your little cornfield where you toss out some corn and the animals come running in from all over on Johnson's pro off Johnson's property and off the Roberts property, whatever, maybe it doesn't matter and you can get away with wearing your Levi coat. But you get packing up in the high country up here, hunting out west when you're hit with four different seasons in one day, hot temperatures, cold temperatures, wind, rain, snow, vertical elevation gain, everything you have is on your backpack. Lightweight matters, packability matters, organization matters, and then the build and function of those clothes, especially as an archery hunter, being in close, uh, being quiet, being mobile is, is huge. So camo pattern aside, I want you guys to have that in mind as, you're, as I'm talking to about Booney because that's the selling point to me on Booney. If this was in a solid, I would wear it too. That's the main thing I want you guys to pull from that. But there also is some cool science behind Booney and the, and the camo pattern to it and the colors they use. They've been a partner of mine. They've helped me out this year. You've seen them in my Wyoming hunt. You'll see them in my elk hunt uh, this year. Uh, they've been a good partner of mine. So if any of this interests you, uh, by the end of the video, just remember code CHAG, C-H-A-G, will save you 20% at checkout. So kind of a little kickback for you guys if you're interested in getting set up in some Booney gear. So right now it's mid-October, getting pretty cold here in Utah. What I'm going to do for this video is show you the layers and uh, kind of what I'm wearing this time of year and why. But they have a vast uh, line of layers and options for all seasons. I mean, I've got a giant duffel bag here full of uh, Booney gear, but I'm just going to show you what I wear. So a couple cool things about Booney gear uh, right off the bat is the packaging and the stuff bags. So this is for storage and uh, organization, whether you're putting it in your backpack or your gear bag uh, on a hunt, or if you're just throwing it in like your closet, like I have here for my gear, easy to uh, pull it out, see what you need and grab it and go. Every piece of clothing has its own bag. Here's the rice jacket, has a picture and a name of what it is. Levitate hoodie, same thing. They all have their individual picture showing exactly what it is with the name. So super sweet. Everything fits perfectly in its own designated bag. One zip and out pulls your jacket. Nice for packing in your backpack, like I said, keeping things organized. So going over fit, what I really love about the Booney gear is they took the time to get athletic, flexible cuts. Um, you can see they're pretty form fitting, but they're not restricting. I like form fitting things. They're, they're good for mobility, drawing your bow back, um, athletic cuts. You're not wearing a bulky, heavy uh, material. They're breathable, but also warm. What I've been wearing this time of year is either the puffy coat, which is warm as heck, and that's good for all winter long. But um, for during the day or those somewhat cool to warm mornings, what I've been doing is running like a base layer bottom, the long sleeve, and then I'll throw on my vest. And with my vinyl harness, that's uh, pretty mobile, but still warm enough uh, to keep me warm on those fall days. This is what I was actually wearing this exact fit when I shot my bull this, uh, this late September. And like I said, because of the athletic cuts, a little bit longer in the back, here on the jackets so you don't have any ride up on the back side of you because of those cuts and the way this product fits you never get bulky so now I've got on my water resistant windbreaker jacket 
and I'm still very, as you can see, mobile. My vinyl harness fits on fine. I don't even have to adjust it from putting on a puffy to wearing a t-shirt. My vinyl harness fits at the same lengths. What's nice about these, these jackets though is say, it is cold in the morning, but then it starts to warm up around 10 o'clock. You have all these breathability options. Every pocket is ventilation, and the same goes with the pants. I'm wearing the altitude pants right now, and they have vent pockets all over for ventilation. You got a hip one, two thigh ones, then you even have one down here on the bend of your knee. So this jacket, I'll pack with me pretty much all year because if I get into rain, if I get into wind, or if it's really cold and I need that layer of shell to keep in my body heat, this jacket does that. So the Rise jacket is probably my favorite to go with. And then in the winter time, you throw a puffy on underneath that and you're gonna stay very, very warm. All the material is quiet. There's nothing that is uh, like a rough or loud material when you get in the brush, which is nice. I'm a bow hunter, so every little bit counts. And I do a lot of backpacking, so lightweight material is, is key. Now I wanna talk about the color or the pattern of Booney. Um, there's actually a lot of research behind it, and I think it's pretty cool. Can you get it done in solids? Absolutely. I'm not saying, and in fact, my position, the camo is the least appealing part of Vooney to me. Like, I understand that movement is the biggest thing when it comes to uh, not being detected by an animal visually. If you're not moving, you could pretty much wear everything. But once you do move and that animal catches your movement, the more broken up you are, the, the better it is. Like, I do realize that. And I've hunted in solids most of my life, and that's just because I don't really have a preference on camo. I, I understood that it come down to movement and keeping your scent down. But the science behind Booney is actually pretty cool. The colors were chosen because these are colors that hide to an animal's eye. So to a human, you might think, wow, that really stands out to me. But actually, it shouldn't matter what a human sees, we're trying to disguise ourselves from the animal's eye. So these colors actually are the three, four colors that really blend and hide the best in all terrain to animals' eyes and what animals see because they don't pick up the colors like we do. So there's a light base color and the reason behind that is as you get out to further distances, your pattern or the design of your camo starts to shrink and condense as you get at those further distances, 50, 100, 150. Most camo patterns are super tight at a close distance so they look nice up close, but then as you get further away, they're already tight and they become to blend together and become a solid and you now have a silhouette or a figure. Whereas Booney being spaced out up close as you get further apart and that shrinks, you're still broken up at um, 50 to 150 yards. So like I said, movement is the biggest thing it comes down to in controlling your scent, but it does help to have your outline broken up, blend in with the, the environment to what the animal sees. If you're a Western hunter or hunting desert country, high country, you'll see me up in a lot of rocks and uh, dry terrain, especially from September on, this stuff actually blends into the human eye really well. Uh, I mean, maybe if you're hunting Kentucky green grasslands or out on the West Coast, that might pop more to the human eye, but let's always keep in mind we're trying to disguise ourselves from the animal's eye, not the human's eye. With that in mind, this stuff is killer. Um, the fit is great, and the breathability is awesome because at least where I'm at, I'm doing a lot of hiking, so my body heat gets high really quick, but then as soon as I sit down, it's pretty cold in these upper elevations, so it's easy to zip those ventilations to stay warm or cool down quickly as you're running around on the mountain. As it does get cooler out, they do have the option for the base layer bottoms, which zip on and off, so you don't have to take your boots off, actually. All you have to do is unzip the leg, goes up to the hip, Velcro's off on one side of the hip. Take your pants down, you know, to whatever you need. Slide them on, zip them, then just buckle your pants back together and you have that extra layer. I would like to see them come out with a late season pant that's a little bit more water resistant and uh, durable for bushwhacking, like when I get shed hunting. 
These pants have lasted me. I've almost worn them every day for four to five months and uh, they've kicked butt so far. They haven't, they have no holes or anything like that. But for the late season, I would like to see a little bit more durable pants when I get walking through oak brush, shed hunting, and in some more snow. But as far as temperature goes, these thermals with the uh, altitude pant, plenty warm for me. The rain gear is freaking awesome too. I uh, bulletproof. I've worn that a couple times and it's absolutely saved my life, the top and bottom. Um, durable, very breathable. They have the breathability options for maybe light rain where it's still hot out. Um, or I've been caked in with hail and rain and that stuff just completely covers you up to where you're not getting any moisture in there. Would also like to see more of like a merino type uh, hoodie, like this, this material, kind of lightweight with a hood. Um, they don't have that one yet. They, the hoods are a little bit thicker for a little bit colder weather, but um, that would be cool to see from them too. You guys have seen me wearing this in my hunts. Thought I'd give it a quick highlight. I wanted to wait before, uh, you know, making one of these videos and just make sure I really had a good level of use to my clothing before I uh, made a video kind of promoting it and showing it to you guys. So been wearing this for four to five months now and uh, almost every day. And so far I haven't worn through anything. It really does pay to invest your money into some quality gear, especially if you're going to be out in, in different temperatures. Like summertime, you can get away with running a t-shirt and a crappy lightweight pant. But once you start getting into weather changing, temperatures like where it's fluctuating cold high wind maybe rain comes in maybe some snow comes in um, and you're in brush or or whatever it is heat being able to layer properly is and this like don't even if you don't have boonie gear like whatever you're wearing being able to layer properly is so huge and then when you're talking about backpacking and and having whatever you can carry on your back be all you have um organization, being compact, lightweight, packability, all of that stuff really comes into play. And that's where that upper end material and upper end gear is really gonna set itself apart from that other stuff or grandpa's old flannel and uh, give you more a more enjoyable experience in the mountain because a more enjoyable experience in the mountain is gonna keep you out there longer and you're gonna perform better. Anyways, here's the setup I'm running right now. I thought I'd share. Uh, you're seeing it in my hunts, so I appreciate your guys' support. Of course, code CHAG will save you 20% with Booney. CHAG saves you on all of my sponsors. If you want to check them out in the description box, I have a list of them all right there. All of them are awesome guys, companies, and uh, friends of mine. So if you want to support them, go for it. Got other hunts coming out, so subscribe to support the channel and make sure you don't miss any of my future videos. That's all I got for you, though, so until next time, good luck out there.